All right, folks, we had a busy morning already. Went and cut a couple yards. Went and cut a, a buddy's yard to be a blessing that's uh, got cancer and fighting, battling cancer. Uh, he doesn't come out too much anymore. The treatments is really uh, making him sleepy and tired. And he didn't come out this morning, but we took care of the grass like we've been doing. And if you can be a blessing to somebody, be a blessing. It is humid. Very. Very humid. But when we come back in, what time is it? It was 10, 30, it was 9 10, o'clock. 10, 30 now. So it was 10, 30, about 10 o'clock. Noticed that it split it down here. We had it still in the shade. So we jumped down there and split a couple pieces of wood. But we had a, a question or two about, do y'all only, I forgot, I'm paraphrasing. Y'all must have the corner market on big rounds or everybody must dump big rounds to you. And uh, that was from uh, Larry and Robin, yeah. Outdoors with Larry and Robin. One of them was, it was I had a couple people messing me, messaging me about overloading the splitter and you gotta be careful and this, that, and the other. I understand, We, if you watch us, when we splitting them big wood, I have my wife, when it goes through, she's standing back out of the way. Wherever it falls, it falls. We don't try to guide it, we don't try to manhandle it. Where it falls, it falls. So we've been doing this a long time and you're gonna get hurt no matter what. When you you think you know it all, that's when you get hurt. But we try to take every precaution. I saw wood suppliers, I, I do not like buying logs. I have bought logs. But when I've got some good friends to send a house building and, and they got a clear lot and they got a, I call it a grandfather oak tree, something that's a hundred years old or something that's straight, and they call me and go, man, uh, you want a big tree that's straight? It's probably 24, 28 inches. The trunk may be three foot, but uh, it's some good stuff. I'll bring it to you. I hate to see it waste. We're going to take it. And I don't like noodling. I hate the freaking noodle. Now, that's why I bought a wolf ridge to lift it and split it. If I bust a seal out or something happened to it, guess what? I'm going to fix it. We're going to keep going. That's why we bought a great machine. Now, that doesn't mean you can put everything up there and think it's going to split it. Because it won't. Most of the time it does when you take the uh, four-way. And I, did, I wasn't recording. The last piece we got hung up, I knew it had three or four. It wasn't but a little piece like this. But it wasn't doing it with a six-way. And all I did was I knocked it off and I turned that wood a quarter turn. And a lot of times with these big wings on the six way, if it's hitting dead in a knot, it, it probably it may not split it. But if you turn that wood and get it off of that spot, it went right through, didn't it? Had yes. no problem. So a lot of times it's, it, you need to be aware of where uh, those wings are if it hitting two knot, then no, it's not gonna split it. But that's why we split big wood. It, we we're fortunate enough to live close to Lake Murray, and it's a lot of housing development, a lot of uh, land clearing that has to take place to put a septic tank, put a driveway. Nobody wants to cut down a big, beautiful tree like that. But sometimes it's necessary to get a house in, or a septic tank, or a driveway. And we're fortunate enough to have good friends that know that. Hey, I, you got to pay to take it to a dump or you got to pay to take it somewhere else. They can bring it to me and I'm happy. They happy. They saving money. A lot of times I give them money for gas and that keeps me from buying logs. So that's why I have a lot of big logs because it's in the business that they're in and I benefit from it. So we're going to take it as long as I got a good help and Got a good machine. And good help. And good help. <laughs> and got Rosie to supervise. That's why we have big stuff. Because that's what's brought to us. And it's free. And now wood last, that wood lasts three times longer than something that's going to be that big around. And we, that's why we have repeat customers. Because they know they don't have to get up every hour to stoke a fire up. 
So it benefits them, benefits us, it helps the uh, land clears out. So it's a win, win, win for everybody. So that's why we have big wood. It's not by choice. I mean, I'd rather have a 20 inch piece a quarter mile long. And yeah, that's, yeah, I would. But sometimes you gotta, I'm not gonna let it waste. Take what's free. You gotta take what's free. So I hope y'all not sweating like us, but we've got our work done, got a blessing done, got some wood done, and got a video for y'all. That's a, that's a perfect day, I guess, ain't it? And that's eating me up. And it's mosquitoes. So take care of one another. Your turn. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And, and make uh, sure you're subscribed. Make sure you... They didn't unsubscribe you. Outdoors with a Morgan. I turned up to him today, or yesterday, last one. I'm unsubscribed to him. I've been subscribed to him for four years or more. A long time. I don't know what YouTube is doing, but please check. It, I know it's... Y'all probably tired of hearing it, but uh, I'm tired of saying it. You're going to know the truth about it. Okay, Irene. Take care. <laughs> Good night, Irene. Yeah. This is Rick Outdoors.